Hello, in front of me I have Zeb Z watch and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with your iPhone. First, we need to turn on our watch. To do it, simply press and hold the middle button. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and after a couple of seconds, you should see uh, the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you like to use on your watch and then tap on it to select it. I'm gonna select English. And after you select the language, you should see the uh, QR code on the screen. Now we need to download and install the Zep application on our iPhone. We can do it uh, in two ways. We can either scan the QR code from our watch or just open the App Store and search, search for the app there. I'm just gonna open the camera app and scan the QR code with our phone. So I'm just gonna point the camera on the QR code. As you can see, we get the link right here. Tap on the link and it's gonna redirect us to the download page for the Zep application, like this. Now, let's tap on this icon right here to install the app. And once the app is done installing, you can tap on open button right here to open it. Now let's tap on OK. Let's check if the Bluetooth is enabled on our phone, on our iPhone rather. As you can see, it's disabled, so let's enable it. And now we need to log in into an account. You can also create a new account if you need to by tapping on create an account button, or you can also log in with the third party uh, uh, account, something like uh, Apple, uh, Xiaomi, Facebook, and Google. I'm just gonna log in with email, so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address, and password, as you can see it uh, auto-filled it from me. And once you're done, tap on sign in to log in into an account. Now we can allow some uh, permissions, like uh, permissions for notifications. So basically we can allow this app access to notifications. You can allow it or deny it. If you want to get the notifications on your watch from your phone, you need to allow it. If you don't, you can just don't allow it. I'm just gonna allow it. Here we need to, uh, or rather we can allow the permission to fitness and activity. So if you want to uh, track things like uh, heart rate, um, blood oxygen and stuff like that, you need to allow the uh, permission. If you don't want to do it, tap on don't allow. Now we need to tap on okay. And again, we can allow stuff like um, active energy, body mass index and stuff like that right here for the Zep app. And <clears throat> we have two categories, allow Zep app to write and allow, allow Zep app to read. And you can allow, for example, app to write the heart rate, to read the heart rate, uh, read the sleep um, and steps. And you can also allow to write weight and stuff like that. And once you're done, tap on allow right here to confirm. And after uh, allowing the permissions and stuff like that, you should see the home page of the app. Now let's tap on the profile icon, tap on add device, select the watch category, tap on agree. Now, as you can see, I had uh, connected watch previously. Uh, so I'm just gonna tap on bind other watches right here. And here I'm gonna select the watch with the QR code category because we have a QR, QR code on our watch. And tap on OK. And now we need to scan the QR code with the phone. So basically we need to point the camera on our watch like that. Now we need to confirm the pairing on our watch by tapping the check mark. Here we can allow the permission for the location. You can also deny it if you want to. We have a little tutorial how to use our watch. And after a couple of seconds, you should see the get started button. Tap on it and it should redirect you to the ZebZ page of the app. And at this point, our devices are paired. 
and our watch is ready to use as you can see. And that's how you pair this watch with your iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.